so so airport pavement as in the case of highway pavements are classified as flexible and rigid pavement uh, is you already know what is flexible pavement layer system rigid pavement a pavement cement concrete and cement concrete and uh, resting on a base right so the difference between a flexible and uh, the highway pavement and a airport pavement is that in a highway pavement the design we load is around 4.1 ton airport has 100 the tire pressure 5 to 7 kg per centimeter square uh, airport has 17 to 24 kg per centimeter square uh, placement of load within one meter from the edge on the center plan 10 meter pole, which are on the on, on the center of the 10 meter portion of the uh, runway weight. Load repetition 1000 to 2000, here 20,000 to 40,000. Then thickness, normally you have a uniform thickness, but for rigid pavement, the thickness varies because the plane, the aeroplane always lands to the center. So with this thing, we can reduce the pavement along the thickness at the edges to form for the economy purpose. Now, what are the design factors? The design factor strength of construction is Characterized by CBR value. Bearing capacity of the subgrade soil under adverse condition and the design or the design window of the aircraft. The method that we are going to use is now commonly used for pavement design, and this method is known as far field method. R field means F for federal, A for aviation, A for administration, R for rigid, F for flexible, I for iterative, E for elastic, L for layer design. So it's a federal aviation administration, rigid and flexible, iterative, elastic, layer design. It's a new F method for pavement design that was, that is, so to place the classical method people used to uh, have before September 2005. And the last version is um, 18 uh, January. This is the uh, you know the window of that. So this FA method. It is devised in 2008. Uh, it adopts new method and encourages a flexible payment. It's a very easy and that's uh, software related method. And you know, then it's addresses the modern airplane parameters. Soil investigation, unlike all pavement, you uh, investigate the soil, what is strength. And this parameter of CBR, the lowest value we design is CBR 3. Otherwise, we have to replace the soil. Uh, since most of the time we design a rigid pavement, so the value of K that models of subgrade reaction, either you do it from the plate road test explained in your rigid pavement section, or you estimate 
by this k is equal to 1500 cbr over 26 power 0.778 inch now so this is something uh, we uh, have used uh, we discussed for part b it covers standard payment design procedure for both flexible digit payment applied to payment design for airplanes with gross weight design procedure is required as use of computer program we based on three dimensional finite element model that for graphic models uh, that uh, concept of design aircraft or design air vehicle design vehicle that we used to do in a highway pavement design in which you say 18 kg uh, out single axle load here we don't have this thing we calculate all the damages of that graphic graphic and then we can combine a cumulative damage factor uh, as compared to the design aircraft cost so what i mean by cumulative damage factor is that we estimate the damage caused by each wheel of each aircraft based upon its unique pavement loading characteristics and location of the main gear of the center line we do not use the design aircraft method for all condensing all aircraft with to design one design model so ccdf is calculated for 10h wide strip over a total 820h wide width the gain location and rounded considered for each gear is added to if you forgot what is a gear the gear is the combination of the wheel on the aircraft so the aircraft has two type of gear nose gear at the front just around the location where the pilot seat sits actually and just blow it and then we have a landing gear on which an aircraft land and it surround the wings or the belly uh, at the rear end of the aircraft uh, this is at what the group of wheels in an aircraft is known as gear it's not the gear you um, usually have in your car so gear is the combination of the wheel and uh, in your second year course uh, just try to go through it once again and you will find how many types of gear to a tandem single wheel dual wheel dual wheel tandem dual tri tandem dual etc the other combination of the gears that are usually there for each type of aircraft this is how damage caused by different wheels so you can see point 747 the damage caused is like this and if we add all those damage we got this cumulative damage factor remember all cdf should be equal to 1 and once this cdf becomes 1 you kind to find your thickness obviously uh, as the previous design not all aircraft is combined to single aircraft here the far field program contains 198 aircraft models each model is unique with respect to the cross load gear type identified in accordance with fa order eliminates wide body terminology traffic model pass to coverage lateral movement is known as air plus airplane wander and is modeled by statistically normal distribution the ratio of the number of trips or passes along the pavement for specified point on the pavement you see one fold road application for digit pavement one coverage is one full stress application for flexible pavement one coverage one repetition for maximum strain at the top of the separate uh, the traffic model the pass to coverage ratio is 
16, it uses the concept of effective diet rate. Digit pavement effective rate is defined at the surface of the pavement equal to the contact diagram. Flexible pavement effective rate is defined at the surface of the subject. So this is how you can explain the pass to coverage method. The tires are there, you estimate at the top of the subgrade, and you know this is another way where you find can have this pass to coverage of other vehicle depending upon the load of the vehicle you have this pressure bulk or this pressure bulk here this pressure bulk is slightly overlapping each other uh, airport pavements are generally constructed in a uniform full width sections uh, all other pavement like apron taxiway but variable sections are permitted on runway pavement practical feasibility, the complex construction operations, and economical uh, feasibility is also there. So you can have a uniform section if you feel that uh, the construction process will be too complex and it will be much more uh, costlier than the actual saving that you uh, think you are thinking we can save. So this is the variable section. You see uh, from center line to some distance along the way, you have uh, full pavement thickness. Then the outer is based on this green one. Out, this is the outer edge. This is less thicker. Then the pavement thickness this thickness to this thickness. This is the transition of design using arrival. So this is how you can say this is the center line in which you have a thicker pavement around 25 feet. Right? It depends. It can be up to uh, another bit as well. So minimum 25 feet on each side should be a full depth. And after that, you will have this thickness. The thickness uh, is around maybe 75% or 70%. And this is around maybe 25 feet as well. And then you have this thickness uh, all the way to the end of the runway. So from this diagram you can see if we assume that this is a 150 feet, the 25 feet will be full depth on both the side. 25 feet will be transition between full depth to this uh, point. So that's 50 feet and the rest of the 100 feet will be around 70% of the full depth thickness. So if this is 10 inches, here this thickness will be 7 inches. Minimum, you don't do it for thickness less than 12 inches. If thickness is less than 12 inches, you are not going to do it. If the thickness is minimum 12 inches, you can try to have a more uh, transition. You are allowed to have a transition if at least you have a 12 inch thickness. Actually, the rigid pavement, uh, the airport pavements are not uh, less than 12 inches uh, to be very practical sense. Now, this is the theoretical aspect in which the typical rigid pavement, there's a portent cement, sub course, and a separate. Uh, the aggregate, actually the base material we use, we have different type of base materials. Uh, this is characterized as P154, P208, 
depending upon the modification and the, even the subgrade or two subgrade have this type of material. We actually show it's a chemically stabilized material. So these may be a treated material or treated material. This is the surface concrete, it's categorized P501 uh, and it has some specific elasticity models. You can see this in your software uh, file design. So this is all about the pavement design, what is the required, the subgrade support, K value, material properties, models for layers, thickness for all layers, and goes on ratio, and the traffic, frequency of road characteristics, and the airplane characteristics. How you do it, this will be explained to you in the part B section of this lecture. Then there is a three-dimensional finite element of procedure. It's a new procedure. And this K value will be estimated about 1500 CBR over 26. You can use these materials. FA recommends 600 to 700 PSI. Parkville will give you 500 to 800 PCI. And this is estimated for pressure strength of concrete as we see here. E value is fixed at 4 million PSI. The base should be at least 6 inches. This. And all thickness, whatever you can create, are around 2.5 inches. So when I said P501, I mean 650 PSI. That design at 650 PSI. It's a 228 day strength. These are the gear configurations. Uh, the gear part field describes a single wheel, 12 wheel, 12 10 term, triple 12 10 term, and complex gear configuration like C5 and C6. So the approximate time is around 10 sec seconds or less, uh, maximum of one minute. Way for designing a rigid pavement. It's very less, and it's very doable. It has actually improved the efficiency and how the aircraft is designed. It's a matter of a couple of minutes that you can design your rigid pavement if you have enough knowledge. So, this I will discuss in detail in my presentation next time. How to use the software? I will share the software with you.